What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the Mindless Horror Podcast. Today, we have a, a special one from you. Um, as you guys know, last season, we, we really hit home haunts big time. Uh, very creative people out there who are showcasing what they can do. Um, and I'm hoping to see a lot of these people future in the uh, the, 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 the professional scene, man. I want to see these guys, uh, what, their, what their creative ideas bring in to other haunts. But... For the time being, they, they're creating some of the most amazing home haunts I have ever seen um, in the in the, in the the home haunt scene, man. And it's really cool to see all this. Today we have Bradley, and today we have returning for, I think, like the fourth time on this channel. Great guy, good friend of the channel, Mr. Armani. How you guys doing today? I feel like... Good doing night. good. <laughs> that was a hell of an intro to live up to. <laughs> uh, so... Bradley, talk to me about the the home haunt, man. I mean, this was one that I was supposed to go check out last year, and due to me getting sick, um, could not make it out, but I for sure want to make it out this year. Talk to me. Sell me. Yeah. Um, Our haunt is basically, it's, it's a really uh, intricate haunt in a way that we, we don't try to do like other haunts. They focus on like one theme and like they stick to that. We are like, we have a scare zone. Like we try to make as much as we can, like a uh, ghost town. But at the same time, it's kind of like it's kind of like a, it's kind of like a mix of all scare zones into one. Like we have like Carnival, uh, the Hollow, uh, Ghost Town, and Forsaken Lake. We try to make their costumes much as like that, and then we have a haunted house. This year, due to COVID, we did not have a haunted house, but um, we had a lot of good scares, and we had Armani come down with us. This it was just a really good year. Really good year, Armani. You know, I mean, I've seen you work, man. I I know what you can do out there. Uh, what is your involvement with the haunt, man? As far as Stearns, um, it was funny actually how I uh, discovered them. <laughs> <laughs> with uh, with everything as far as like COVID goes and everything all that, um, it sucked having our season being canceled and everything like that. It was a bummer. So I was like, dang, like what do I do? Because like I was holding out for the announcement to see if they were gonna do it or not. And then by the time they said something, it was already too late to. Uh, turning applications for like the hayride um what is it a uh, scream zone or something like that down in uh, san diego or something right and then um all the other ones too so i was like dang like i was frustrated i was like am i gonna be able to scare this year like i don't want to go outside and just scare in front of my house oh so that's pretty lame you know yeah <laughs> <laughs> um so i was like okay um so one day I was just on Instagram looking for like local haunts uh, displays because I saw a bunch of them popping up and I saw that it was getting more and more and more popular over the right. days and the months that have been going by. So I was like, I wonder if I can get in on this. Like, I want, I hope it's not too late, you know? Yeah. Um, so then I stumbled again um, upon their page and I was like, Stearns? nightmare on Stearns like what the heck is that <laughs> <laughs> and um looking at their page and everything like that and I was like I saw Freddy Krueger like once or twice and I was like what is this like like a like a fan tribute to Freddy Krueger or something like that and <laughs> and they're all like no like we're just a home hunt we're out here displaying we're in Whittier um we're independent uh, we do a maze, but it's in the garage. We have a scare zone. It's not really that big. And I was like, hmm. It's either that or I sit out the whole year and not have fun at all. Yeah. And I'm like, you know what? I'll just go for it, you know? Yeah. And then I was like, um, how many people are with you? Like, what do you guys do? They explained it to me and everything, and then they told me, hey, we can't pay you, but we can pay you food. And I was like, done here. <laughs> say, no, say no more. <laughs> say no more. Yeah, say no more. I mean, shoot, as long as you feed me, sure. Why not? <laughs> At this point, beggars can't be choosers. I, exactly. So I was like, all right, then. Let's go. Yeah. So then man. I went. Um, the first time we met was at the, was at the rink in Garden Grove, right there at um, couple of uh, blocks i guess in the words of uh, the in the words the iconic sublime um, we took a trip down to garden grove man yeah yep. 
Sometimes they even play the song, dude. There you go. <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> um, so we met down there, and um, I didn't know who, who it was at first. Um, but then uh, before we had met over there, Ryan had texted me that day prior to that. And then he was like, you know, I follow you, right? And I was like, you do? And then he was like, yeah. So I checked my followers and sure enough, I was like, wait, what the heck? A kid is running Stearns? That's awesome, dude. <laughs> I was like, I thought it would have been your parents or something like that. He was like, he was like no, like, like, it's me. Like, I'm the one in charge. Um, I help with the building designs, uh, the scare actors and everything. And I was like, that's pretty cool, dude. Like, that's a lot of responsibility to take on. And it seems like you're handling it pretty good. Yeah, man. <clears throat> so, um, so we got to talking and everything. He asked me the same thing as you, like, what do you do in Scary Farm? What are you about? Uh, what are your special abilities and stuff like that? And then I showed him and he was like geeking out. And so was Brad over here too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was. Like everybody was like, no way. Like, like I saw their smiles get big and I was like, and, and then I reassured them too. I was like, dude, all I do is work at a theme park. I'm not famous. I'm not in movies. I'm not in TV shows or anything like that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like you guys, just with makeup. <laughs> <laughs> and so he was like, they were like, okay, okay, okay. I was like, yeah, so like, it's cool. Like, you guys are fans and everything like that, but just, just remember, I'm just like you. <laughs> <laughs> and they were like, okay, okay. So we got comfortable. We started sliding and everything like that, cracking some jokes and stuff. I'm busy. Um, and um, uh, sorry about that. Um, that was hilarious. <laughs> just walk in. I'm busy. <laughs> I'm busy. busy. <laughs> That's a, here you go. That's a blooper. I'm busy. For you right there. <laughs> <laughs> Bonus footage. Uh, pay a dollar, a dollar. You know, give me, give me coffee or something. Um, anyway. Uh, <laughs> uh, so, yeah, we were just cracking jokes and stuff like that, getting um, more comfortable with each other. And then uh, the day before, he texts me. He was like, "I heard Knots does like um, a dress rehearsal or something like that, like a little practice the day prior, right. so that way we're prepared for the next day." And we know what to expect and stuff like that, or have an idea, or whatever. So I told him, okay, okay. Um, it's kind of weird not not having Pasta and Brandon do that, you know, the higher ups from Scary Farm. Right. So it was a little bit stepping out of my comfort zone, and I was like, dang, like these guys really want me to like give them advice and coach them and stuff like that, you know? Yeah. And mentor. Them. So I was like, okay, um, never done this before, so I'm gonna try my best. <laughs> I don't know what to do. I don't know what, what I'm going to do. I don't know what I'm going to say. I don't know what I'm going to teach. So um, uh, these guys uh, came and they showed me their costumes and stuff like that. And one of them had a scarecrow costume. And I was like, dude, the hollow. <laughs> <laughs> and then he was uh, like, what? Like he looked at me confused and he was scratching his head like, huh? <laughs> <laughs> And I was like, oh, we have something in the hollow. And he was like, oh, yeah. <laughs> I was like, yeah, dummy. <laughs> <laughs> so I showed him a bunch of pictures. And I was like, hey, you know what? Your costume is actually pretty, almost a little accurate to ours. I was like, he was, and he was like, whoa, like, that's cool. Like, you know, cool. <laughs> I could pass as one of them. I'm like, eh, yeah. the, the mask is a little, eh. But yeah. <laughs> that's it man i mean and then, uh, if anyone knows if, hold on if anyone knows the hollow better than anyone it's gonna be armani man <laughs> so then brad came up and he showed me his stuff and then he was like he had like this scarf with like checkers he had some overalls and stuff like that and uh are you he looked like say? <laughs> It don't like say. Just, no, he, it literally looked like if you just came out of like um, working out of go kart world or something like that <laughs> to entertain kids or something. Go kart. <laughs> <world. laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> and he was like at a kid's party dressed up as a clown or something like that. That's fucking <laughs> cool, dude. Go world. Oh man. Yeah. Cuz I tried getting like the cloth I tried getting like the um cloth like plaid from uh, Carnival but I ended up getting like pajama pants instead so I was like I mean that's the best I got. <laughs> right. Hey, you know what? Like with I I figure with home haunts man, you got to just work with what you got. And I mean, exactly. yeah. people could, people actually make that shit work really well. Um, there's pe- there's really creative people out there that can that could take stuff like that and just make it work. And yeah. I think that's where really the creative side of things come from with home haunts is 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 taking things and, and trying to to budget and, and go the the best route possible to to have something that like the best thing you can try to create. And I think that was one thing that I really enjoyed last uh, last season going to a lot of them is just seeing the, the amount of creativity and 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 things that people went through to to make that uh, a reality, and I, I really had a good time. So, last season, what did what was the theming around last season for you? Because I understand you guys just did a scare zone now, from what I'm understanding, uh, due to COVID. Uh, what was your theming around that for last year? What did you guys overall decide to do? Basically, we just we like originally it was just supposed to be like uh, like ghost town in the hollow, but then I came up. I was like, "Hey, I got a clown costume that kind of looks like carnivals." They're like, oh, "Fucking!" So we should do every zone. So we got everybody coming in, and we try. What we try to do is we try to really like not scare from style, scaring very aggressive, very up in your face, and like I think we had like our mind. What was it like three or four sliders or five? Or, I think it was like three or to five sliders in that little area. Maybe. Yeah. Um, was there three? I thought there was four. I don't. I don't know. I'm not sure. Yeah, I think it was like four sliders we had there in like a tiny little area, but we made it work. Like with the space we had, we had fog going everywhere. It looked like it looked like fog alley. Like the, it was like the fog was sticking was in the right cool. area, so it was just perfect <laughs> for the scares. Yeah, and it was really fun. Okay, so out of all of their decorations, the fog was the bee's knees, bro. The bee's <laughs> knees, man. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I mean, these, bro. it's definitely something I, I do want to check out for next season. Uh, what can you share? I know it's a little early on, but what can you share? What can you tease the fans? I'm for looking next for something to share with you right now. Um, as far as I'm allowed to say, I mean, we've just announced that we're going to have as a haunted house, we're going to have the horror movie guy and con like, you know, Freddy Krueger um oh, nice. michael myers leatherface not let I me mean, not leatherface uh i think jason i think we're gonna try to have leatherface if we get a chainsaw but that's to be announced Got a and file. we're gonna have the scare zone of course but there's gonna be a new theme to the scare zone this year nice you can i mean listen i'm gonna yeah. say this right now i mean i got you know i got the freddy krueger mask right here i got the <laughs> i got the claw right nice. there so you know and this thing is like real metal and everything, man. So I mean, I can, I can get. I got the hat right up there, man. I just gotta get me a nice sweater and a nice uh, pair of jeans. I already got boots. We're good. Ooh. I could be a good six foot six Freddy. We're looking for basically anybody, like any <laughs> inside that tiny little garage. Just come out. Yeah. Out of uh, nowhere, right. and just scare the crap out of them. I'm down. Did you yeah, I think we're gonna pick up the stuff that they he did that night when they were with me. I I that would love. Killer, honestly. I think have a I, lot of stories. From there. Armani, if anything, if you return next year, this could be your opportunity to strap a GoPro to you right there, brother. Hey, hey I'm ready. Put put the GoPro put me on. Coach. Put me in, coach. <laughs> put me in. Yeah. Put me in. Yeah, dude. We're gonna have a lot of people recording this year because uh, a lot of my friends are gonna come out and record. We might hire. I might hire somebody to come record our whole production, like um, film it and promo for the next year. Right. We got a really good turnout considering it was COVID. I think it was like 200, 300 people. Good. Usually it's like 500 from 600 because of the haunted house. But it was a really good turnout overall. And we had a lot of funny stories from that night. Armani probably has a couple. I was with uh, the Scarecrow the whole time. Just We were just dropping people left and right on, on the on the lawn. But it was a really, just really fun night. Man, I, I'm glad to hear that you had two to 300 people come out. Um because man in my neighborhood halloween this year was so depressing i think i had like 15 kids come to the door and uh it it was very it was very depressing especially someone who loves halloween you know it's like i i i was like very depressed that only that much showed up but i'm glad you guys had a good turnout even if you guys didn't have the maze i mean you guys had half 
of what you normally would have. But I mean, just for the just to show up for the scare zone alone, I mean, that's that's awesome that people came out to support no matter what. I mean, you guys honestly, this was last year was your year. You know, you know, COVID struck and a lot of the major parks and whatnot were closed, so the home haunts, all eyes were on you guys. Oh, so yeah. yeah. Um, I mean, uh, Ryan, I gotta give him huge, a huge shout out to Ryan because he's the one who does the designing, the um, construction, like the fog, the decorations, everything. He comes up with that stuff by his own. We're gonna have, so I could give away what we're gonna have. We're gonna have a couple scenes this year that are gonna be reminiscent of Scary Farm, like a lot of special effects inside that maze. We're gonna fit everything we can into there. We got a lot of lighting this year that's gonna help out with it, and we're gonna just train our actors up, and our minds gonna be teaching us a lot more sliding and scaring and. Um, character development so anybody's welcome to come try out and come scare with us i want to do a night man i want to do a night and and film a whole video for that that's that'd be good for good promo too yeah. you should come you should come we want you to come i'll take you on <laughs> you can come scare right. with us I'll, I'll go ahead and take you on my day off <laughs> we'll go we'll scare for the night record some pov you know pov Put man the tubes i'll go. probably be coming multiple nights if i get the opportunity to scare for a night man because i'll, I'll come one night as a guest as as media to, to 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 record get the word out there and then i'll come back another night to just do just scare man because uh there's talks with a couple other haunts that i, I might be doing a couple appearances as well so I, i'm very excited if i add another one to the belt this could this could be that could be awesome this could be the start of my scare acting career right here bro yeah. Yeah, because I heard you talking All about on a podcast dude. with uh, I heard you talking about a podcast with uh, Aaron White and I think uh, I forgot who the last one is, but uh, you're talking about you wanted to scare and if you ever going to scare, you had a lot of good character ideas. So if you ever just want to come out and scare for a couple nights, I mean, I think we might do a Hunter's Night for people on our day off, like Queen Mary, not Scary Farm, Six Flags, can come down and come down to the home haunt, hey, enjoy some haunt. Hey, hey, the, <laughs> fiend. the fiend will be there. Okay. The fiend will be. Might have a new look though. We might have yeah. to retire the mask. We might have to go full blown makeup with it. Wear some contacts, man. I'm feeling it. Can look good. Ooh. Oh yeah, we got some new I makeup like artists this year. I'm very All excited right. too. We have a new makeup artist here this this year. I got my girlfriend to come along do the makeup this year. I got a couple Badass. of her friends. So I'm like, I I finally dragged her into it. She's gonna be watching this and being like, "You're such a nerd," but, <laughs> but no, I'm. I, I love I, haunting. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm excited. I'm the same way, dude. I love going to these events, and you know, it's the it's the fun part about what I do here on Nights of Horror is I get to interview people. Did I lose everybody? No. Okay. No. Good. I get to interview oh, people. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. My, uh... <laughs> no, you're good. I saw Armani go so to the screen, <laughs> and then I saw you go to the screen. I'm like, did I lose everybody? Um. No, but I love I love interviewing you know the behind the scenes of the industry, uh, whether you're home haunter uh, in the in the in the theme parks or whatnot. I love doing that. I love just chatting with people, and I love just covering these events. It's 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 really fun. And I always say too, like even if I don't get media, it's always just I, I'm still gonna support no matter what because uh, I love. Oh, okay, mm -hmm. that came out of nowhere. Is that is this that is the mask that I wore? All right. Or that. There you so, go. if you can clean it up and everything like that and all that, I will pass it down to you. <laughs> he got his, man. There you go. <laughs> I got to get me a good... Like, go, yeah, that's that's the cheapest. That's the, that's the, the Misfits one I have I mean, right here. What that's character the, are you looking to do? I, I have my own character right here, the Fiend, I've been working on uh, for some time. Uh, other than try not to get scared challenge, I, I you got to use it somewhere. I got to, and I and I want to I want to do it, and I, I really want to. I got a whole style for it and everything, and see what we'll see what happens. Maybe the, maybe the stars align this year, and I get to bring it out. Yeah, maybe man. Okay, one awesome thing about Stearns I got to add about scaring here is we have concrete that like you can actually slide on, and like compared to other haunts where they have like asphalt, that one completely like shred shred. Your it's like it's like ghost town concrete that's smooth that's what armani said oh, it was worse so yeah it's like it's ghost town ghost town man <laughs> i mean you can still slide pretty uh, far this <laughs> is you <laughs> <laughs> do we need to talk about my hot name it was give, so stupid give him a good okay, hot name or what sliding since he's it, it was pretty bad it was this is funny dude. It was pretty, pretty ridiculous. okay so on that night of performing night 
Halloween night. Well, no, no, this was rehearsal. It was rehearsal? Yeah, because I, I started learning how to slide better once you took us to the oh, ring. Oh, okay. All right, well, then rehearsal then. Um, fog was going and everything and all that. And um, they're learning how to inter do interactions and stuff like that. Right. And um, a little bit of character development before we go out there. Um, some tips and pointers. And then we started sliding. And then I told them, all right, break. Use your free time. Practice is the stuff that I taught you. So they were practicing and then they were sliding too. And I'm over here trying to slide and um, in their little alleyway. I go for a slide. I go for like two inches. I swear I go. <laughs> and then I fall. It was like if I, um, like if a skateboarder ran over on the, like the side like that. <laughs> Bro, I didn't. I was like, okay, so uh, I was like, all right, I'm going to go for one, and I'm going to get Ryan. I'm going to make him scream like a little girl. And I went for it. I went hard, too. I <laughs> threw myself hard, thinking I was going to slide far. Right. And there you go, just like the skateboarder in the pedal. Whack! And I'm like, all you hear is, <laughs> boom. <laughs> Ryan's just like, like it, it literally went, Oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and then I was just like looking at me, and the same reaction to it, just like, ha, ha, ha. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! And I'm picking myself, and I'm more like, yeah, yeah, um, I'm not gonna do that again. <laughs> <laughs> oh and then, man! Uh, here comes Brad right after me, and he's like, he goes, and he, it's the same thing. <laughs> And he goes only like two feet and he's just like, uh, like that on his back. <laughs> and he's like, I went so fast, bro. <laughs> and I was uh, like, me and Ryan were staring at him in the fog, like all confused. Like, what? <laughs> <laughs> you literally went like two feet. Dude. It was so and bad. Be, like, jumping and screaming like, yeah, I'm so fast. You can't see me. I'm like the flash, bro. And I was like, oh, it's John Cena. No, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. It's fucking the queen, bro. <laughs> and he was like, I'm lightning. Fast. And I was like, yeah, he even got the checkers, bro. Look, look, look. He just came from Go Kart World. <laughs> oh, man. A lot of good. And it stuck. And I was like, you're my queen, bro. McQueen. <laughs> Kachow. Ryan's not like his hot name. You go for a sight and literally go only two inches. That is not fine. It, right. That's because you did not slide on the concrete at all. You did not slide on the concrete at all. You tried the asphalt, and that asphalt is so thick. Like, if I put my knee pad on that, it's I just breaking out. I saw how like, far just... you guys got on the concrete. I wasn't about to mess up my pads. And the concrete was good. The concrete was good. That, that, don't diss the concrete. And then I even told Ryan, too. I was like, dude, make sure you uh, you try to wax the, the concrete so, like, at least we get some sort of, like, distance, you know? Mm -hmm. Nothing. Good old, because you know Armani's over here. That's a super to, fun night, though. Ar Armani's over here used to sliding on uh, the CS streets, man, where it's freaking like butter. Uh, I'm about to say like butter. Uh, dude, dude uh, like he's like used to sliding on that. I'm used to sliding on like like my parents' front yard, and it's just uh, <laughs> the whole time. I know. Uh, I'm used to being spoiled. I know. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> he, get, he gets to slide where all the legends used to slide back in the day, man. Yeah, oh yeah. Yeah, oh, man. Oh. CSS I'm, sliding, I'm sliding in the origins of sliding. In the origins, where it all started, man. That's where it all started. It all talk started, to yeah. talk to the boy Dieterman, no, he knows. He knows. He was there. Good old John. Oh, yeah, Scott Dieterman. John Cook with the little tin can. <laughs> <laughs> the cookbook, man. We love the cookbook. Yeah. You know you love the cookbook, man. We, um, so... Mm -hmm. With haunting, obviously, I mean that was one funny story right there. I gotta hear more, man. I love hearing the funny stories. I love hearing what you guys got. What happened this funny? What happened that was really funny to you guys this season, man? Mm. Uh, there's some stories I have of what I've done to people that I, <laughs> that uh, I, me, I, I don't. Let know me hear them, man. Let me hear them. Monsters him. that just goes up to people and disses them, but I like I like. I like screwing with people. Like I, I, this one girl, she was walking on crutches. So naturally I limp up to her and I tell her, <laughs> give me your, your crutches. So she's a guest. 
asked and she's dumb so she gave it to me and i just <laughs> ran off into the fog well, we for like a good like five minutes well she to everybody for like a good hour <laughs> <laughs> and, like, and, and nobody she she she's like where'd my crutch go and i was like i don't know i handed it to i handed it to him and i, I like point out something random i just ran away <laughs> i took her crutch out of I was doing like little laps around her, like with one leg. I was like, man, I wish I was handicapped so I can get paid. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, where's my government check? Ah, give me my money. Oh, <laughs> um, I'll put on one leg and everything. She was like, you're mean. I don't like you. I was like, what are you talking about? You're rich. <laughs> <laughs> I think we got a video of it. Armani was seeing Scooby Doo to somebody that was uh, wearing a Chewbacca like collar, like clay. It's like a, like a mask that he was wearing, and Armani was just thinking Scooby Doo to him the whole time because he's just trying to like, he's like, you guys aren't scary. I'm not scared of you guys. I'm not scary. And then I think it was uh, I wasn't Ryan. I think it was either uh, my brother or he's the werewolf. He I think he came up and he just he did the kick like where you like you uh, slammed your hand on the knee pad. It just it makes a huge like gnarly sound. And it just yeah. he just like dropped. Oh work. god, that's I love dropping. It just kill, like don't. Those stories are great. I love when people dropping is what my favorite yeah. thing is. It's it's so I have some stories. Um, I learned to scare from in the open when I was in uh, eighth grade. So my teachers, I got permission to go on to the middle school and just slide around the whole entire area with my thunder jug and like they they didn't care at all. And I dropped eleven girls in uh. We're right, right. So here's the story. We were in a locker where there's a right, like a locker room right next to there, and they're all walking out. I just come out, out from a dark corner. I just slam my hands with my like my metal plates on there, and they all just drop like fly like boom. Like they all just <laughs> topple over like dominoes. That, I think that's like one of my favorite scares I've gotten of them. I mean, I didn't even use the knee pads that year. I just pushed myself up my thunder jug. Right. It. It. it you know what? It's funny. I think. Uh, I don't know if Armani was there for that one, but. One of the best drops that I ever saw was actually in the hollow and I got it on film. Uh, it was probably the funniest shit I ever seen. There was like three or four people surrounding these people and they got onto the floor and they dropped and then they had to like crawl out and they crawled all the way almost to like the Ferris wheel and they finally got up and ran. I was dying, dude. It was, it was, it was really <laughs> freaking funny. We did that to a couple of people, me, Riley, um, and, uh, Beast Boy. Did I? Did a couple of that. Shout out to Beast Boy. That's my homie right there. Goofy, if you're watching this, I miss you. We're going to run together. Hey, maybe as soon as this season year, maybe. Be our season. Watch. We're going to take home those slider belts. We're going to take home them slider belts. Um, going uh, to be but, the, the, the sliding yeah, champs that, of the year or what? That's our goal. That's, That's your what goal we're trying right to there. do. I mean, I'm already trying not to get scared, champion. So, we got some really funny stories from our uh, slider practice. I mean, if we ever go to some hunts and you, bro, you... <laughs> listen, all right, man. <laughs> TLAV tries to come for the belt. The last two yeah. years, they couldn't get the job done. Uh, oh, we'll see. I'm champ for a reason, man. I'm champ for okay. a reason. <laughs> For a reason. Okay. Okay. For a we'll reason. See if that, that talk matches the walk. We'll see, man. I mean, I might even yeah. be taking the championship all the way down to the East Coast, man, and going checking out Hard oh. Nights over there, man. Oh. What? We expand? Down to Florida? Okay. We're going down to Orlando, Florida, man. We're going. We're going. So you're going to be busy all of September and October? Just uh, beginning of September, we're, we're planning a trip. Uh, September, what is it? The 5th through the 12th, we'll be out there. That's the plan. Going to Bush Gardens, maybe, if it's open? I would like to, but I think the plans are uh, Sammy and I want to go to Disney World, check that out, and then we're going to go to Horror Nights for like three days. So that's the plan. Oh, that's nice. sick. That's sick. Nights of Horror is taking the, the, tour, the, the haunt tour on the road, man. <laughs> Taking it around the world. Going around. I mean, last year we went to Arizona, man. So we're we're already expanding, man. We're going state by state. We'll see what happens. Uh, do you go any haunts up there? Arizona, we did Fear Farm. Up in Arizona. Yeah. We did. Oh, uh, Fear Farm was that was that a good haunt or no? 
You know I what? It was really good. I went the last weekend, and you could tell that there was a lot of people missing where they needed to be. Because I think everybody just after Halloween, they just mm-hmm. called quits. And there was like a lot that was like closed that uh, was yeah. supposed to be open because they were short staffed. So it was okay. I would like to see it when it's at peak season um, where it's all filled up and whatnot. That's a bummer. Yeah, but I still had a good time. It was it was, it was something new. Um, yeah. So, yeah. Uh, Nevada had some haunts open. Yeah, they did. They had I'm a sorry, lot. Keep, I'm so sorry. No, you're good. You're good. Um, it. The one thing I, I like I said that I like about home haunts is uh, creativity. Um, and, and from what I've been hearing all show, you guys are no sh- no short of that. Um, you guys are recreating some iconic moments at different haunts and kind of putting your guys' own twist on that. What what becomes the most difficult challenge of, of putting your guys' own twist on things? I mean Personally, I don't really, I don't really do a lot of the design and the construction. That's more of Ryan's side because he owns the haunt. I'm one of the, I'm just helping out there and like doing a lot, like trying to do help as much as I can. But I think the biggest problem so far we've had is props and costuming. I think costuming like for the monsters, They're all... trying to f- figure out what, where, where yeah. <laughs> Right. I think that's like the biggest problem is for us just trying to find out the right theme, the right lighting, like figure out how we fit this in such a small. I think it's the I think the worst part is the small spaces. We have to figure out how much uh, space we have and how much stuff we can create because we have so many ideas and so much, and we have a budget and we have a limited time to make all those things happen. So we're gonna try to figure it out with what we got. Right. Yeah, because I I know with a lot of home haunts, that's always the biggest thing is the space and and budget uh, and comes down to a lot of thrift sh- uh, thrift shops you know goodwills whatnot to, to get what you can get because i'll be honest a lot of these thrift shops have some good stuff for cheap man uh, and i've been to a few of them and oh, yeah, yeah for sure you can get some good finds <laughs> hey whoever's not thrifting mm-hmm. y'all sleeping y'all sweeping man I mean, come on. That's for sure, man. Macklemore made a whole song Y'all about it, dude. You know, you just you listen to that song yeah. and you're good. Uh, yeah, Y'all and see. so I, I'm really honestly stoked to, to be to, to get the, hopefully get the opportunity to go check you guys out this year. Um, I know, Armani, you were telling me a little bit about it at the uh, Hayride. Uh, you gave me a little a little preview about it, and then you, you messaged me more about it um, like later on in the season. <laughs> Uh, so this year is going to be the year where I go check it out, uh, especially in Woodier. It's very close to me, so. Oh heck yeah, dude! Yeah, so I'm for it. Close to both You're going to see a huge okay. improvement this year. Be- All right, confession time. That was probably the only reason why I went to their their haunt too. On top of all the other reasons, that was another reason. Because it was so close was to you. Like, if, it was, if it was like down in San Diego or something like that, I'd be like. I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> but then I was like, where are you, you guys? What are Sweet. That's only like 15 minutes away. Done deal. We good. Say no more. Go. Say no more. <laughs> yeah, I think we're going to, I think the best improvement you're going to see is a lot from our sliders and character development next year because we've had, we've had Armani working with me on my sliding and stuff and getting me to like really get like a lot of drills and stuff like that. So we're going to see a lot more distance, a lot more aggressive scaring and a lot like, just, you're gonna see a lot more talented scare actors than most home haunts would 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 do because of just the um, opportunities we've had from Armani. And you never know; you might see an appearance from the Knights of Horror himself. Just That's saying. gonna be awesome, dude! I saying. can't wait for that. I'm just saying, I, I might show up wink, one of these wink. nights and, and throw on a mask and and. and oh and, man, you would love it. You're gonna get addicted like that. Oh, I'm already addicted just going to the events, and, and I already know throwing on a mask will be yeah. no different. <laughs> absolutely right about that man after you get that first scare and it's a good one and you get them to screech <laughs> <laughs> let's do it again <laughs> alright it was the next one like the Terminator I got my eyes set on someone you know what I mean um, exactly <laughs> so obviously 2021 is looking like a bright year for everyone uh which means uh, you guys are already looking to get back into the garage, start building again on top of having the maze with the scare zone. Um, yeah. And it's looking like a brighter year for everyone, obviously, with the you know the vaccines rolling out and everyone doing their part. It's been getting better out there. Um, 
was was this the uh, the the maze you guys are planning for this year? Was this the idea for last year? Or did you guys have a whole different idea for last year that you're gonna have to probably shelf and save for another year? We did not have a night. Well, as far as I know from the creator of it, Ryan, um, we didn't have an idea. But before it was just like a bunch of random like things, but we're trying to move more towards like a higher level level of home haunting and trying to get up there and really get our name out there because we're not a well-known haunt. I mean, we got a really good turnout, but we want to get ourselves out there and like make sure that people can come visit us, like maybe like where the Dark Realm and Boot Hill. Like right. all those those guys are on the high level, so we want ours to grow and grow and grow and build this event. That we can come back to even if we're not scare acting on like like ryan's got audition for scary farm this year hope we're going to see him on ghost town streets so cross across our fingers so um i'm going to be trying to take it over like trying to help out with scare acting and what building whenever i can because he's gonna be busy yeah it's gonna be a good year man i mean there's a lot of opportunities out there obviously we're looking at potential uh, major haunts reopening uh I know a lot of the home haunts did a lot of yard displays and a lot of them usually do walk through. So we'll, we'll, we'll probably see a lot more of the return of walk through haunts again. Mm -hmm. um, you know what? I, I, I was honestly impressed last year with a lot of what I saw um, during COVID. A lot of these people did not let COVID stop them from, from showing off their passion for Halloween, their passion for displays and haunts and whatnot. They really wanted to, to kind of idolize the memory of, uh, of a haunt season. And last year was a very tough one for everyone, but I think with a lot of the things that people offered and, and drive through events and whatnot, we still made this, we, we still made it happen. And no matter what, you can't take Halloween out of everyone's hearts, yeah. man. Halloween is something you celebrate, whether you go to a haunt, whether you watch horror films, whether you hang out with friends, you know, whatever the, the case may be, you cannot take Halloween away from us. And that's just the, the simple simple reality of it. And you guys proved that last year that you weren't letting the pandemic stop you. I mean, it, it, it's really cool to see a lot of people no. out yeah. there, you know, do their thing and whatnot. So I am extremely thankful and happy to be part of this community and, and i'm glad to support anyone that i can and I, I definitely can't wait to see what you guys bring to the table next year honestly I'm, I'm really excited to see what you guys have to offer and uh any way i can help to to promote you guys starting here you know and going forward so I, i'm ready oh yeah man i'm ready i'm ready mm -hmm. i'm ready man are you sure because i'm gonna push you to your limit. I, I want you to push me to my limit. That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> but just remember, I'm like twice your I'm like twice your size, so you come up to scare me, I just look down at you. You're a big like, hey, what the fuck? I mean, man. man. So many people, dude. Oh man. Let me get that thunder jug there. Like you can get my thunder jug. Oh, you're gonna man. drop just <laughs> absolutely just look down yeah. at people and just do just be they're fun. done. Or if they're, they're walking you're backwards and I'm like, behind them okay. as like a brick wall, you know, and they run into me and I just <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Come out of the bottom. <laughs> yeah. Bro, sometimes I kid you not, you won't even do anything. You just stand there. You're you're a big ass tall dude, dude. You're Put me in a ghillie suit. Just like that. You don't even have to There you go. Oh my I god. Hate those damn things. That was Thanks. That was the <laughs> first time I scared and I was in fourth grade. I was in a I was in a fucking coffin with a ghillie suit. I don't know how that worked out or how they put <laughs> me in there. So somehow I ended up scaring people even though it's like in plain sight. I'm just like like that, like I'll, I'll like clap, and that, that that's it. Like I, I just clap, and they got scared. I'm you like, can't okay, this is guys. stupid. Especially the ones in freaking universe. Yeah, but a like, coffin though. Like I was like in the middle it's of like stupid. nowhere. Because you ex you know when to expect it because you you know where they are because of the scenery. Yeah, right. you have nothing but grass and hedges, and you're like, oh crap, here come the gillies. Yeah, you know? yep. but you're, like <laughs> looking at the walls and stuff like that. And you're trying to see who's moving or like which leaf is like twitching. Shadowlands. And they had that all the time in Shadowlands. All comes from behind you. Yeah, dude. It, it's it's yeah, really nuts of, of how they take advantage of the scenery and whatnot at every haunt. Um, yeah. But honestly, guys, I, I have to say, 
Uh, I am super excited to see what you guys have to bring to the table this year, and I will definitely uh, be there. And uh, I'm not missing this year. I'm, I'm for sure going. And uh, I, I can't wait to see what you guys pull out. And um, who knows? We might have to host the Try Not to Get Scared Challenge there with TLEV. That'd be, that'd be fun. Be a good, uh, oh, be a good time. So I got something in uh, – we got something cooking for for my character too. Um, we got something that's gonna car prop. Blah, blah. Oh, shit. Okay. Um, so basically, we made a car horn prop for this year, and uh, that mixed with fog is gonna do a lot this year. It's gonna do a lot for our haunt, I think. I think uh, I think we're gonna have to host the try not to get scared challenge there. If, if loud as hell. <laughs> if you'll have us, we're gonna have to host it there, man. Gonna oh, dude, to... for sure. Yeah. I smell the candles. It's gonna be awesome man. having us here. A chain of titles for for me to TLEV, yeah. I'm bro, going Marty out there one of these nights. I'm going third year, I'm going three years in a row having that title, bro. They can't take it away from me. You can't, you can't steal it from me. Can't do that. I mean, if you go on the night on my day off and I still happen to be there, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I can see you coming from a mile away. It's the hair that gives it away. I'm just like, oh, Armani, boom, got him. Okay then. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay then. Yeah, we but, always try scaring Armani, and never works. Uh, Bradley, I, I wanna, I wanna, I want the people to to get a little bit of a word of where they can where they can follow, keep up to date with things. Where can they, where can they follow the haunt? Where can they keep up to date with everything? Okay, you can follow us on Instagram at Stern's Haunt Halloween. Uh, I think it's a uh, Stern's Halloween Haunt. And you can follow my character uh, at McQueen the Clown on uh, Instagram, and you can get all the updates from there. And then, of course, Armani's got his Instagram. Armani, plug that Instagram, bro. It is X Armani X, and you'll find me right there. You can't miss it. You know, with these, with this hair right here. It's got the, <laughs> it's got the Kurt Hammett look going from Metallica. And, um, it's all good. <laughs> <laughs> hey, auditions put me in put me auditions, in let's do it put him in he'll be on the next um, tour and uh stay tuned because once scary farm kicks off and once stearns kicks off you'll see that account blowing up with all the stuff blowing up the man. hints with all the with all the news with all the updates blowing mm -hmm. up man uh um, you can see his uh slide practicing sliding and getting yep. ready yeah, I'll definitely, we'll definitely set something up uh, for the rink so I can come down and, and help you guys film some promo videos and whatnot of you guys just practicing, getting ready. So we'll, we'll, we'll set something up. We got to do that. I'm down. For sure. Yeah. Um, before I let you guys go, Armani, I think uh, I think you've answered this, but I don't know if it's changed since then, but it's, it's always the hardest question of every podcast I do for a lot of guests, and that is, what is your favorite horror film? Mm. I think I have told you already. Um, they're not specific films, but I would have to say my ultimate go-to favorite, based off of the character that I'm formed around, right. I'd probably want to go with the original Jeepers Creepers. Ooh, I don't hear that one very often. The original Jeepers Creepers. Yeah, man. When I saw that, when I first saw that, I think I was about 11 or 12. That movie freaked me out. <laughs> I don't blame you, man. I don't yeah. blame you. Uh, so, Bradley, what about you? What's your favorite horror movie so, of all yeah. time, man? Probably Halloween. I, it's a very basic answer, but like I, I love Halloween just because it's such a classic uh, Halloween movie, and it always gets me in the mood for Halloween. Nice, brother. Nice. I'm, I'm, I'm for it. I love the classics. Michael Myers will live on till the end of time. Uh, but with that being said, I want to thank Bradley. I want to thank Armani for coming on the show today to giving us a, a little preview of what, what we can expect with these guys this year. And I'm super stoked. I cannot wait. I hope everyone else is excited for haunt season this year. I know we're only in April, but man, before you know it, we're going to be in September and it's kicking off, man. It's going. So it's gonna be here. Stay tuned, man, because we might have these guys back on right before to give you a, an exclusive first look at what they're gonna bring. Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? For sure. Yeah. You might even get some 
updates of scary farm that you haven't even heard of yet. I haven't even heard of yet. We're going to get the exclusives first here on the Nights of Horror for you guys. With that being said, we love each and every one of you. Hell yeah. Uh, we cannot wait to uh, see you guys back in uh, the haunt season, the community. I can't wait to see all of you guys back out there. We're getting close, guys. Let's just hang in there a little bit longer, and we'll, we'll get through this. I, I'm thinking it's looking really bright this season. Um, if you guys are new to our channel, you know, hit that subscribe button with that bell notification be where every time we put up a video and leave a like to this video if you guys enjoyed it. Also, follow us on social media at the Knights of Horror on Instagram and at Knights of Horror on Twitter. I am your host, Anthony, from the Knights of Horror. This is the Mindless Horror Podcast, and we will see you guys next week.